Hi, this is Malia Karlinski here from Yesterday on Tuesday, coming at you with another super fun Crafty Hangout. If you don't know about Crafty Hangouts yet, they are really fun short videos that my friends and I do showcasing craft products and ways to use them, cool new ways to use them. So today I'm super excited to be coming to you with one of my favorite companies, products, and the company is Expressionary.com. Now, if you don't already know Expressionary, which you probably do, but if you don't, they do all kinds of great personalized printed products, including invitations, they do stamps, and they even do, this is one of my favorite things, mugs. So here's an example of a mug they have. This has my name on one side, and on the other side, it says, I am very busy. So this is very helpful in the morning when people are coming at me with their demands, usually my children. Um, I just left up the mug. I am very busy. So anyway, expressionary.com, lots of cool stuff. So today I'm excited to show you some of their Halloween line. And I have a few projects that I made with their products. Um, first is the custom jack-o'-lantern stamp. So here's the stamp. It's very cute, as you can see. Got it personalized with our last name on there. And the neat thing is with this stamp, you can do all kinds of craft projects and projects. It's very versatile. And I should mention too, it comes in this really cute bag. So the packaging is really neat too. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a couple things I did with this really cute stamp. Happy spooky Halloween from the Karlinskis. And let me just show you how it works because it's really easy. You know how sometimes you use stamps and it's like weird and messed up and doesn't look beautiful. This is a stamp that does look beautiful. So I've got some orange paper here. Come down here for a second. Got some orange cardstock. And I'm just gonna put it there. There you go. That's how easy it is. Then of course you can um, use a, a paper cutter to punch it out if you want, which is what I like to do. So that's how you use the stamp. And it's really goof proof, which I, which I love. So this is actually also great for kids to use. So the first thing that I think I will show you is um, how I used it to decorate caramel apple for Halloween. So this is really easy. You can make caramel apples. You can buy them at the grocery store. There's no judgment here. And here's an example of a caramel apple that I, I have here with, with the um, custom jack-o'-lantern stamp. So now if you're having the neighbors over for Halloween or your family or friends or whatever, wouldn't this be a, a really neat thing to have, bring it out at the end, these caramel apples? Or maybe you're gonna make caramel apples together but this is just a really cute tag. It could be a great takeaway gift too. So that's one really cute idea that you can do with the custom Jack O'Lantern stamp. And you can see I just used some green twine to tie it to the stick with a caramel apple, but heck, you could, you could use anything. You could use um, just regular twine, you could use ribbon, anything would be cute with that. So another thing I wanna show you that I did with the custom Jack O'Lantern stamp is um, a little teacher's gift or neighbor gift or significant other gift for Halloween. So. I don't know about you, but I love Halloween because I love candy. I know it's probably not healthy, but true. Anyway, so I made this really cute um, candy bouquet. And when, to do this one, you can see that I used the custom jack-o'-lantern stamp too. But all I did differently was I, I actually punched a background out of different uh, scrapbook paper. And I put some ribbon down underneath before I put the cute jack-o'-lantern stamp on the orange paper on there. So it's like three layers. Bottom layer is the polka dot paper. Then I put some ribbon, which I just stapled to the paper. And then on top of that, I went ahead and put um, the custom jack-o'-lantern stamp. And then I filled it up with candy. There's candy inside there too. And I've got a little vinyl decal of a black cat on there. But this is an inexpensive gift. This is a fun gift. Um, anyone who gets this will just smile when they see it because it's so colorful and happy. So that's a really great Halloween gift for maybe the teacher, the principal, you know, like I said, anybody. Nobody would not be happy to get that. Anybody would be happy to get this. So it would, it's just a great gift. So there's another fun idea. Now, I also got to um, have, they made let me make up some invites for like a party. So these are the ghost invites. I've actually blacked out my address because you know, that wouldn't be good. But aren't these so cute? So you can see how adorable those are. You can order those. They're great for a kid's party or neighborhood party and they're fun. And what I did is kind of make a craft to go along with this using the ghost theme. So another very easy craft, this would be a great one for kids. So if you're having kids over to your house, you're sending this, these cute invites out, the kids are coming over and they're doing a Halloween party 
and you're like, what am I going to do with them? I need to come up with an activity. This is a fun activity. So here's the finished product. It's these little ghost lollipops, and they're really easy to make, and they really echo the ghost theme on the invite. So to do these, you can use really any kind of lollipop. I've got these Tootsie, Tootsie Roll Pops. You cut a circle out of white felt, and then you just put it on top of the lollipop like that. And then you get some ribbon. You can see I have some ribbon in this one tied around the neck kind of area. And then I, you can use hot glue or craft glue to put the eyes on. If kids are making this, don't use hot glue. Definitely use craft glue. Um, but it works really well. And you can see how cute that is. And I actually um, had used pinking shears to cut the circle out, but you can use whatever you have. If you don't have pinking shears, just use scissors. It really doesn't matter. Or the kids that could use scissors. So that's another really cute idea um, that kids can do with expressionary products for Halloween. So. I hope that you will visit Expressionary.com. You'll find all kinds of great stuff on there for Halloween and all the other holidays, too. And I hope you also visit us at CraftyHangouts.com, where you can find all kinds of great ideas about how to use the newest and coolest craft pro pro products. Thanks a lot for being here today. I'm Malia Karlinski from Yesterday on Tuesday.